This episode is brought to you by Jinx, the superfood-powered dog kibble everyone's been talking about. See the results for yourself and try their one-month transformation. Within the first few weeks, you'll see how Jinx can help with your dog's energy, mood, and even digestion. And it's all thanks to the high-quality ingredients they use, like organic chicken, Atlantic salmon, and grass-fed beef. Try the one-month transformation today. Find Jinx in your local Walmart. Dreaming of a better sleep? Tossing and turning is not your destiny. And Ollie is here to help. Ollie invites you to sink into sweet, sweet slumber to improve your mental and physical health and overall wellness. More than just melatonin, Ollie's ingredients help you unwind your mind for a delightfully dreamy drift off. Sleep is on the way at Ollie.com. That's O L L Y.com. This is Optimal Finance Daily, episode 2664. Stuff We Just Stop Buying by Lisa Harrison of madmoneymonster.com. And I'm your host and personal finance enthusiast, Diana Merriam. Now let's get right to it and continue optimizing your life. Stuff We Just Stopped Buying by Lisa Harrison of madmoneymonster.com. I've recently noticed that there are a lot of everyday things that Mr. Mad Money Monster and I just don't buy. Not surprisingly, skipping out on these little items have added up to big savings over the course of a few years. After getting married in 2015 and deciding to make our finances a priority, quite a few things made the chopping block. If you're curious to see what kind of stuff we just stopped buying, keep listening. Number one, new cars. Let's start with a big one. This isn't something we stopped buying. This is actually something we have never purchased. Even before we met each other, we never bought a new car. I can't see this changing in the future ever. In our opinion, it's a surefire way to flush a few thousand dollars down the proverbial toilet the moment you leave the dealership. We currently have two vehicles and are seriously considering taking it down to one. One is paid for and the other has a balance of $7,000. Quite affordable, yet a huge frugal no-no. Geez, give us a break. We just started on this hardcore journey a few months ago. I think I remember reading somewhere that Rome wasn't built in a day. Update, we paid off our car with the $7,000 balance early last year. Since then, we ditched Mr. Mad Money Monster's car with the help of the Facebook Marketplace and bought a conversion van in its place. Basically, we're down to one car, our Mazda 3, with our van being reserved for family vacations and other various cross-country adventures. Number two, cable TV. We decided to cut the cord a few years ago and haven't looked back. Mini Monster isn't bombarded with the latest advertisements, and neither are we. And since we're not a big sports family, Netflix covers our entertainment needs just fine a win for everyone. Number three, paper products minus toilet paper. Is it really necessary to purchase these items? I'm not an expert, but I'd estimate that you could easily drop $5 a week on said items. At $5 a week, you're dropping $260 a year on paper. Yes, we do blow our noses. We just tend to use toilet paper for this. This started because I absolutely hate clutter and I'm probably the biggest minimalist who ever lived. In fact, I was a minimalist before it became trendy and before I knew I was one. Lucky for me, it just so happens that minimalism goes hand in hand with frugality. Thanks to my little neuroses, we don't spend money on tissues ever. Granted, it could be awkward offering a sniffling guest some toilet paper to blow their nose, but if they're in our house, it's a fair assumption that they know us well and wouldn't care. As for napkins, we like using cloth. They're classy and make you feel like you're dining at a fancy restaurant. And who doesn't like that feeling? But what about paper towels? How can you live without paper towels, Mrs. Mad Money Monster? Truth be told, we always have a roll of paper towels on hand for the unfortunate event of pet vomit. Yuck. It happens. Otherwise, we use rags from old worn out clothing to help us in the cleaning department. Oh, how I wish we had a cleaning department. Number four, shaving cream. Nope, you're not gonna see it in our house despite Mr. Mad Money Monster shaving his head. We both use a good old-fashioned bar of bath soap to lather up for our shaving needs. 
I started doing this when I ran out of shaving cream quite a few years ago and realized it actually worked. I never looked back. When I met Mr. Mad Money Monster, I noticed he didn't waste his cash on shaving cream either. That's when I knew we were a match. I highly recommend you try it. Number five, soda and juice. Again, we just don't buy it unless we're entertaining family or friends. We both grew up with less than most of our friends, so having this stuff in the house wasn't a daily thing. I grew up loving water and milk, preferably chocolate, of course, and so did Mr. Mad Money Monster. We're perfectly fine doing the same thing now. We certainly don't feel deprived, especially since they're not really good for you anyway. Sometimes Mini Monster's grandma brings some juice boxes. Thankfully, they usually just sit in our refrigerator and go to waste, unless we have some kids come over for a play date. Nobody needs that kind of sugar, and we're certainly not going to pay for it. Number six, family photos. Is it really necessary to drop cash on posed family pictures with the change of every season? Don't call me a curmudgeon. I like these pictures, but I would never pay a professional photographer to take them. If you absolutely cannot stand the thought of foregoing these pictures, have a friend take them or set a timer and take them yourself. It doesn't take a rocket scientist to figure out the standard poses. So sit in the leaves, hold your children and strike a pose. I guarantee you they will be Instagram and Facebook worthy. Of course, this list isn't all-inclusive. There are tons of other things we just stopped buying, but that didn't make our list. And number seven, pet care. It's no surprise to anyone that our pets are incredibly important to us, but that doesn't mean we spare no expense. We absolutely spend money on their annual checkups and healthcare needs. On top of that, we have no problem purchasing grain-free foods to ensure they're eating well and staying healthy. But on the other hand, we're certainly not paying for doggy daycare or the latest toys. We prefer to spend time with our animals, lots of time. We also prefer making their toys over buying them. Tying a few t-shirts together for a tug toy makes them super happy, and it's great for recycling our old stuff. You just listened to the post titled Stuff We Just Stopped Buying by Lisa Harrison of madmoneymonster.com and I'll be right back with my commentary. If you've been using Mint to manage your finances, I've got some bad news. Mint is shutting down. But now for the good news. There's a better alternative. Our sponsor, Monarch Money. Mint users are turning to Monarch Money and loving it. Maybe you're saving for a down payment, or a wedding, a dream vacation, your kid's college. I've found that Monarch makes it so easy to help you reach your financial goals, whatever they are. I definitely wouldn't be able to allocate my finances or plan as clearly without help from Monarch. In fact, Monarch is the top-rated all-in-one personal finance app. It gives you a comprehensive view of all of your accounts, investments, transactions, and more. Create custom budgets, set goals, and collaborate with your partner. And now get an extended 30-day free trial when you go to monarchmoney.com OFD. After trying out Monarch for myself, I understand why it's the top-rated personal finance app. And right now, get an extended 30-day free trial when you go to monarchmoney.com OFD. That's monarchmone dot com slash OFD for your extended 30-day free trial. This episode is brought to you by Jinx, the superfood-powered dog kibble everyone's been talking about. See the results for yourself and try their one-month transformation. Within the first few weeks, you'll see how Jinx can help with your dog's energy, mood, and even digestion. And it's all thanks to the high-quality ingredients they use, like organic chicken, Atlantic salmon, and grass-fed beef. Try the one-month transformation today. Find Jinx in your local Walmart. I often see posts in various forums or on social media where people like to criticize how other people spend money. But here's the thing, everyone has different preferences and there are no rules on what makes something a morally good or bad purchase. The only thing that matters is that one spends less than they earn and invests the difference. Some people are still living beneath their means, even if they buy all the things listed in the article today. If they have more significant means, they can spend more extravagantly and still practice good money management habits. I did a presentation for a group yesterday where I talked about how I was able to save and invest 60% of my income. 
One of the things I mentioned is that I drive an older paid off car. Someone in the audience raised their hand and said that they weren't willing to do that. They enjoy driving newer cars and were curious how they too could save and invest more. I told them that if they didn't see any other way to reduce spending, then they should take on a side hustle or otherwise increase their income. They didn't like this response. I get these sorts of questions a lot. How can I learn to invest if I'm not willing to read the book you recommended? How can I save more money if I'm not willing to reduce my expenses or increase my income? It's kind of like asking, how can I lose weight if I'm not willing to change my eating or exercise at all? The short answer is that without any willingness to change anything, you're gonna stay in the exact position you're in now because there are no shortcuts to building wealth. But that should do it for today. Have a great day and start to your weekend. Thank you for listening. And I'll be back here tomorrow where your optimal life awaits.